from top notch universities such as the University of Paris, HEC Paris, and Sorbonne University to a super diverse culture. France has it all. And guess what? International students with valid student visas can work up to 964 hours per year. Plus, the minimum wage is around 12 euros, which turns out to be over 40 to 45,000 rupees per month. Bonjour everyone. Welcome back to our channel. I, Janesh, one of the founding members at Gyanthan, will walk you through the cost of living and studying in France, along with various educational loan options available, ranging from public and private banks to NBFCs, and even international lenders. So stay tuned till the end if you want to know specific financial requirements that come with pursuing your education in France. All right, before we dive into the details of an education loan, and different lenders, let's break down the average cost of studying and living in France. Did you know that public universities in France provide subsidies on tuition fees? Not only this, the annual tuition fees for a master's level degree in public and private French universities can range between 1000 euros to 27,000 euros, which is roughly equivalent to 1 lakh rupees to 25 lakh rupees. And the cost of living can vary based on your choice of accommodation, location, and your lifestyle. Roughly, the living cost of popular destinations like Paris turns out to be somewhere around 1500 to 2000 euros per month, which can be approximately 1 lakh 36,000 to 1 lakh 82,000 rupees a month. With these expenses, the ultimate lifesaver is an education loan. These loans cover basic tuition fees, living expenses, travel expenses, and any other study-related costs. As discussed in our earlier videos, education loans can be broadly categorized as secured and unsecured. Let's break down the differences. Secured loans, as the name suggests, are backed by collateral. Borrowers need to pledge assets like property, fixed deposits, or insurance policies to secure the loan from the bank. Public banks are your best friends when it comes to these loans. On the flip side, unsecured loans do not require any collateral. However, for these you will need a co-applicant with a solid monthly income and a good civil score. Private banks and NBFCs are the go-to options for unsecured loans. They offer perks like faster processing, no margin money required and relaxed documentation. Now that you're familiar with the different types of education loans, let's explore the various types of lenders providing education loans in France. These fall into four broad categories. Let's dissect education loan options from each of these lending categories one by one. First is public sector banks, which are majority owned by the government. These banks are like your steady loan superheroes, offering secure loan options with a whopping amount up to 2 crore rupees. But wait, there's more. The interest rate ranges between 9.25% to 11.5%. And they also provide a one-year holiday period after you finish your studies in France. This holiday period is commonly referred to as the moratorium period, wherein you have the option of skipping the payments completely. Once the moratorium period is over, you are required to pay your EMIs regularly. To secure an education loan through public sector banks, you are required to contribute some amount to the loan in form of a margin money, which is the percentage of the money that the bank decides the borrower must pay from their own pocket to the total cost of education. To study in France, bank will typically ask you to contribute between 10 to 15% of the total loan amount. If you're worried about arranging collateral, that brings us to the second lending category, private sector banks. These banks are not owned by the government and they provide both secured and unsecured loan options for studying in France. Private banks offer unsecured loan options of up to 1 crore rupees at interest rate ranging from 10.75 to 12.75%. Since these loans are unsecured in nature, they do not require you to pledge any asset against the loan amount. Instead, a co-applicant is required by these banks. This is an individual who applies for the loan alongside you. The co-applicant is equally responsible for repaying the loan. For private banks, a co-applicant can be your parents, brother, spouse, paternal or maternal uncle. Moving forward, private lenders have divided colleges and courses into lists that determine the loan amount, interest rate and as well as the margin money. Take Axis Bank for example. They have divided colleges and courses into three categories, Prime A, Prime B and Non-Prime. For a Prime A category, you can get loans up to 75 lakh rupees with zero margin money. For Prime B, the bank offers loan up to 50 lakh rupees at zero margin money. However, for Non-Prime category, the bank offers 50 lakh but the student should have a GRE score of more than 300 and the co-applicant must be working with the recognized MNC or be a government employee. Now, if you are in a tight spot with no margin money, no collateral, or your college is not on the pre-approved list of private lenders, fear not. 
NBFCs are here to save the day. Non-banking financial companies, popularly known as NBFCs, are authorized by RBI to provide both secured and unsecured education loan options. They can even cover 100% of the expenses of your education in France. They actually provide up to 90 lakhs to 1 crore for student loans for France, that too as unsecured loans. All of this is at comparative interest rates ranging between 12% to 13%. As NBFC provide unsecured loans, they require a co-applicant, which can be your parents, siblings, relatives or spouse. These co-applicants should have a minimum monthly income of 35 to 40,000 rupees. Not only this, you are also required to pay simple or partial simple interest during the moratorium period. Now comes the last type of lender, international players. These lenders provide educational loans without collateral and even without a financial co-applicant. They are more or less similar to NBFCs. However, they charge whopping interest rates that range between 12.5 to 14%. To be eligible for education loans from international lenders, your intended course should be present in the pre-approved list of the lender. Please note that a very limited number of universities are eligible for such loans. International lenders generally charge up to 5% of the loan amount or more as per his fees. And this is added to the loan balance. Also, you have to pay simple or partial simple interest during the moratorium period. Now that you have understood the different lenders offering student loans for studying in France, let us understand the prerequisites for studying at a French university with an education loan. One of the major points that students are unaware about is that universities do not require any proof of their finances. Instead, students have to submit the proof of their finances during the French visa process. Now, when dealing with French embassies, financial requirements, candidates must showcase the necessary funds in their savings accounts or students with an education loan need to submit a sanction letter from their respective lender. Hey, are you wondering how to pick the best bank or NBFC for education loan? I can understand that having too many choices can be overwhelming. But what if there is a solution to eliminate that confusion? What if someone could not only help you choose the best option, but also kickstart your loan application with three to four lenders at the same time? Well, there is. Gyanhan, a team of education loan experts, is here to assist you. They have streamlined the entire process of obtaining an education loan. With partnerships with leading lenders including banks such as State Bank of India, Bank of Baroda, ICICI Bank, Access Bank, and NBFCs such as HDFC Credela, Incred, etc. Our goal is to provide you with the ultimate loan option for your education journey. Now, once you have received your offer letter from your desired university and have calculated your expenses for the entire course, then that is the ideal time to apply for an abroad education loan. To start your education loan journey with Gyanhan, all you need to do is check your loan eligibility on our website. For now, we have also mentioned that link in the description. Once you have checked your loan eligibility, we'll assign a personal expert loan counsellor to you. Your personal counsellor will evaluate your profile and based on your profile, initiate your loan process with three to four lenders at the same time. From suggesting the ideal lender to the actual disbursement, we have got you back. Let's make your study abroad dreams a reality. That wraps up today's video folks, I hope you found it useful. If you did, remember to smash that like button and share it with your friends and family who are on the hunt for an abroad education loan. If I have left any stones unturned or if you have got more burning questions, drop them in the comment sections below. Until the next time, happy studying.